to show you proof that dispensationalism has been around before 1830. I'm going to show you people from the Middle Ages that taught dispensationalism, and people hundreds of years before 1830 that taught different dispensations. A lot of them taught a heretical form of dispensationalism, but they were teaching different dispensations, which proves that this teaching of dispensationalism has been around before 1830. Because the common lie you'll hear from non-dispensational heretics is they'll say the, the uh, teaching of dispensationalism was only invented by, by John Nelson Darby in 1830. You know, they'll just peddle it. 1830, 1830, 1830. That's a lie. And I'm going to show you that people, there are people before 1830 that taught dispensationalism. So I'm going to show you this. Watch this. All right, this is Peter Ruckman's book, How to Teach Dispensational Truth. I want to give a heads up. I don't agree with Ruckman on everything. He was wrong in some areas, but his teaching on dispensationalism, he was right on it. And he mentions people in this book that are teaching dispensationalism hundreds of years before 1830. And also, I covered this on my uh, blog as well, on my blog, so you can check it out there too. But here are people that taught dispensationalism before 1830. In 1640, William Gouge uh, gave us six dispensations. And again, these aren't these aren't the correct. These are heretical forms of dispensationalism, but they were teaching different dispensations before 1830. He gave us uh, Adam to Noah, Noah to Abraham, Abraham to David, David to captivity, captivity to the birth of Christ, birth of Christ to the great white throne judgment. Now again, this is not the correct form. This is the heretical form, but he was teaching different dispensations in 1640, almost 200 years before 1830. There also was uh, Pierre Poet, 1646 to 1719, gave us a premillennial Calvinistic system in six volumes, so he had seven dispensations in six different volumes. Let me show you that. Uh, was it? So he gave us seven dispensations in six volumes. Again, not the correct form, but still dispensationalism uh, being taught. Isaac Watts, 1674 to 1748. You know, dispensation of innocency, innocency dispensation of the covenant of grace, Nohiacal dispensation, the Abrahamical dispensation, the Mosaical dispensation, Christian dispensation. He misses it. He also misses the Davidic covenant, throne of David, the rapture, the tribulation, you know, also called the time of Jacob's trouble, restoration of Israel in the millennium. But he was teaching. He was teaching a form, you know, a heretical form, obviously. But he was teaching different dispensations. And here are other dispensational teachers, uh, Jared Taylor, or sorry, John Taylor, not Jared Taylor, John Taylor, uh, John Fletcher, I hope I'm saying that name right, David Bogue, Adam Clark, <coughs> sorry, I had to sneeze there, uh, John Priestley, David Russell, all these other guys before Darby, all the way from the 1700s and 1600s. So, there's this lie, oh, it was invented in, in the 1830s. No, it wasn't. Here are people before 1830 that taught dispensational teaching. Again, it was heretical, but and again, I covered this on my blog. Uh, dispensationalism has been around before 1830 with, you know, John Nelson Darby. Because the common lie from non-dispensationalists is that there was no mention before 1830. Total lie, as shown in this video. So, don't be deceived by non-dispensationalism. God bless you. Goodbye. Thank you.